points very important points regarding mangalik i will discuss on today that is you should not panic if you are a mangalik one because mangalik is not a dosh for your marital life at least mangalik is a charm which is only associated with the marital aspect this particular charm not the mars one mars is responsible for so many uh factors in one's life but obviously for the marriage mars is definitely is one of the important planets <laughs> now most of the time i experienced a mishap unfortunately for so many persons they have come to me for consultation because they are facing problems in their life in their conjugal life after getting married and at the same time they used to say that sir before we get married we got married we uh made it clarified that both of us are manglik then i when i start examining the charts what comes out that yes he is right or she is right because mars is placed in any of the houses which i mentioned a little while ago mars is placed in either in lagna house ascendant or fourth house or seventh house or eighth house or twelfth house but the astrologer from whom the person consulted before marriage that astrologer didn't analyze whether the native is the person is getting the effect of mangalik or not because they only uh, the astrologer only analyzed his lagna kundali d1 there is another very important chart i mention when as and when required in my program that is chalit chart or bhav chart you also can get to see from the internet what is the significance of bhav chart or chalit chart in one's kundali this is another chart like lagna kundli from this chart we come to know the efficacy of a planet that is that is whether that planet is responsible or is giving any effect on that house or not where the planet is placed for example if a planet is placed in fourth house uh mars if the mangal or mars is placed in fourth house with respect to ascendant in one's lagna kundali technically we can say that the person is mangalik but if in bhav chart or moon chart or in bhav chart or chalit chart if the mars gives effect on fifth house 
that in spite of being technically mangalik that person will not get any effect of mangalik that's why a responsible astrologer or an educated astrologer or a true astrologer or astrologer in true sense should be responsible enough to analyze the bhav chart or chalit chart at the same time what happens that in spite of being mangalik for both the what the couple if one of the one of the uh, person husband or wife gets the effect of mars in another house means if one of these persons or this couple husband or wife will not get effect uh, doesn't get get effect of mangalik but technically both are mangalik what happens that disparity will come even both are te- technically mangalik because in bhav chart one of these two persons is not mangalik functionally so what comes out that they are means there will be a mismatch of this mangalik yoga why mangalik is not a dosha when we can say that this person is getting the mangalik dosh when we see that husband or wife in anybody's chart one is mangalik another is not mangalik functionally and technically then this yoga can be considered as a mismatch or any kind of mismatch can be uh, said as can be considered as dosh or dosh that's why we used to say that mangalik is a dosh but mangalik is not a dosh is just a joke a placement of marks in one's chart so see the couple has no uh, uh idea regarding this they have done their best they both of them believe in astrology that's why they reached to an astrologer but unfortunately the astrologer missed to check this one or astrologer is not aware of this chart at all the bhav chart or chalit chart so that's why this program is for you to make you aware that before you reach to a to an astrologer you should know some basic factors and you should ask the astrologer that did you check my all the charts the divisional charts or you are analyzing only lagna chart or only navangs kundli navangs chart so you have to be bit alert for this